welcome to today's tutorial so in this tutorial we're going to be discussing limits so this is a continuation from your first tutorial sheet and um, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel click the subscription button right now and don't forget to click the notification button so that uh, you should be notified of every video that I'm going to be posting on the channel alright so let's quickly do uh, uh, the question so the question says find the limits if they exist okay so once you see this word it means that there are some limits which do not exist all right so let's uh, quickly begin to solve this so before i solve any question let me tell you that if they ask you to find let's say for instance the limit the limit of uh, let's say x plus 2 when x is approaching 3 what they're asking you to do is simply to just replace 3 with this x or in other words um, or in an advanced way let me say you just have to distribute this limit throughout this function what 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 does it mean so it means that you're going to say the limit of x when x is approaching 3 uh, plus the limit of 2 when x is approaching 3 so when you look at this part this one is just the same as replacing where there is x with 3 so what is x there I'm going to put 3 let me say if for instance this was squared so that at least you understand what I'm talking about when you put 3 there you're going to have uh, 3 and then squared then you say plus then the limit of any constant when x is approaching any number is simply just that same number so you're going to have 9 plus 2 which gives you 11 so this is how you solve limits so let us now quickly begin to solve these questions that you're seeing here yeah so the first question is the limit of 2 sine x minus 1 so this one like I said you distribute the limit you're going to say the limit of uh, Two. This two is a constant. You can put it this side if you want, but let me just write it the way it is. Two sine x when x is approaching zero minus the limit of one when uh, when x. Let me write the x this side when x is approaching zero as well. So at this point, you're going to replace zero where there's x there. So we're going to have uh, we're going to have end please make sure that you don't write the limit when x is approaching 0 is equal to 2 sine no so this limit should always be followed by the function that's how it is not an equal sign okay, so this is wrong so this is how you should write it after the limit you write the function there so I say the limit of 2 sine so in short we are replacing now what is x we put uh, 0 so we have 2 sine 0 minus the limit of any constant when x is approaching 0 simply just that same limit so the limit there is going to, I mean it's simply just that same constant so in this case we have a 1 there and then we have 2 sine 0 what is sine 0 so sine 0 we know to say this one is just equal to 0 when you look at the unit circle which you read as cos comma sine so the unit circle is like this if you're finding uh, 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 yeah, if you're finding uh, those solutions of uh, special angles that is 0, 90, 180 and we have 0, 90, 180 and uh, 0, 90, 180 and 270 so in case you want uh, you want to know how to use the unit circle and to find and how to find the uh, solutions of special angles I'm going to put the link in the description you can just click on it and then you'll be able to um, to watch the video okay so these coordinates here uh, simply one this is a unit circle with radius one it's a circle with radius which is equal to one so the 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 one is the point here is simply just one comma zero. So if we say sine zero, we read these uh, coordinates as uh, cos comma sine. So cos zero, the answer is one. 
sign is zero, the answer is zero. So here we have two, and then multiply it by zero, because sign zero is zero, then we say minus one. So two times zero, the answer is zero minus one, which gives us negative one as the answer. Same applies to this equation, uh, I mean to this function here, to this limit. We're going to replace what is uh, x with zero. So what are we going to do there? So on top there, we have one, then we have plus, uh, I don't have space this side, that's why I've not written this. So you have to write this and then you say equals, then while there is x there, I'm just going to be uh, replacing with 0. So I have 1 plus 0, that is this. And then while there is sign x there, I'm also going to put sign 0. Then everything divided by 3 cos 0. So when you do the simplifying here, discover that this one is a zero, we've also found that this one is a zero, then cos zero, remember I said it's a one, so we are going to have something like, on top we have one plus zero plus zero, that just gives us a one, then down here we have cos zero which is a one, uh, times three, we can have three there. So we move on to this one. We have the limit of uh, x plus four, then we have cos x plus pi. Okay, so I'm not really sure if this uh, square root is applying to everything this side, but I'll just uh, get it the way I'm seeing it here. It's just ending at 4. Okay, so we're saying the limit of x plus 4, then outside we have cos x plus pi. And then we have a negative, when x is approaching negative pi. So we just put negative pi while there's x there. So we can now do the replacing. So we have the square root of negative pi plus 4. Then we have cos negative pi plus pi. So negative pi plus pi, this will give us a 0 if you can see. So we have the square root of negative pi, excuse me, then plus 4. So we have cos uh, negative pi plus pi, this would be a zero. So cos zero, we, if you remember very well on the unit circle here, I said it's equal to one. So this would just be, we can rearrange this part to, to be four minus pi. Then cos zero, this is a one. So four minus pi, I mean the answer would simply just be four minus pi. So this is the solution for this uh, expression here. So let's look at the last one here. The limit of 7 plus 6 squared x. So we just have to put uh, a, uh, a 0 while there's x there. So remember, according to trig, sec, um, sec uh, squared x is simply just the same as 1 over cos squared x. Okay, let me just erase everything first. So I was saying, uh, when you have a sec squared x, this is just the same as 1 over cos squared x. And then if you have cos squared x, this one is just the same as cos x uh, times cos x. So this is what it means. So what is cos squared x? I can replace with that. So my x in this case is going to be 0. So I'm going to put... 0 there and 0 there. So I'm going to have something like this. Cos squared x. This will be cos 0 times cos 0. So cos 0 times cos 0. This will just uh, give me, remember, cos 0 is 1. And uh, the other cos 0 also give us 1. So 1 times 1, this one is 1. So if we replace a 1 here, we're going to have sec squared x to be equal to 1 over 1, which gives us 1 as well. Alright, so we replace this uh, solution that we found there. So, what, in other words, what, I, what we're trying to say is that the limit of the root of 7 plus sec squared x, or, yeah, the sec, sec squared x, when x is approaching 0, simply just going to be found by replacing 0 while there's x there which is just going to be 7 plus sec 
uh, squared 0. So when you do the replacement there, you're going to have something like this 7 plus, remember what we found here, is this is just a 0. That is if you put a 0 there. So, oh, it's, a, it's just a 1 rather. So I have 7 plus 1 there. So we have square root of uh, 7 plus 1, this is going to be 8. If you do um, the, what's this, if you simplify it further, you're going to have uh, the root of 2 times 4, which is equal to the root of 2 times the root of 4, which is just going to be, uh, the root of 4 is simply just 2, and then root 2 there we have root 2. So the solution is just 2 root 2. Okay, so thank you very much for watching uh, today's tutorial. Uh, if you have not yet uh, subscribed to the channel, uh, you can do so. And if you have any questions or you want to join my tuition group, uh, make sure that you contact me on any of these contacts on the screen. Okay.